Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna touch on a quite interesting topic which is pop-up boxes or just something that indicates that there is an interaction. So what you're seeing here is this princess and once the princess which is kind of almost double the height of the player so this is interesting as well uh, well, has a collision with the player, then she shows her intention. And what does she want? Money. Of course she wants money. Princesses are not for free. So this one is... we're gonna pass on that one for now. And for example, now you see this next NPC or object or whatever you want to call it. And this is the treasure chest and it's happy to see her. It's definitely happy to see her. So what is its intentions? It loves you. Of course it loves you. You will open it. Of course it loves you. And the last one which looks like a clone of the left one. She's just happy to see you. So if you want to know how to do that, stay tuned. This is 1UP Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff. So how can we set up everything. Let's go here in our resources and there we just have a few sprites and for now all the sprites are centered bottom center. This is quite important because for that um, everything is aligning itself in the, in the middle which is pretty sweet and for, always from this point on as well from our NPCs as you can see bam bottom center as well. So just keep that in mind and here I have three NPCs, but basically they're just carbon copies. They just change one variable in this object, which is my object emoji. What is the object emoji? This guy is getting spawned by those NPCs and it doesn't do a lot of things. It basically has two variables and first of all what it does, it runs down in its animation. So basically we're just going in here and bam, 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 and once we hit the last frame here, in our animation end event. So if you don't know where to go, you just go here, other, and then animation end. And what it does is basically just runs down the animation, if it has a speed of course. Um, and then if you are on the last sprite, it will do an action. And here we just change the sprite and the image index to two variables. So we set those two variables in the beginning so this is the other sprite this is this one which is just static so one of those here bam 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 and we give it and also an image index because we want to well one of those in here and this is basically this is the whole logic in there very very easy very very sweet so here we kill everything so we go step by step so you understand what's going on here. So what we are doing in our NPC is very very easy. Basically you have two tasks. First of all storing the ID of the emoji object which we are spawning the instance. And then we have a cooldown timer which just always resets. So for example once the player is not touching the NPC so there's no collision then it will destroy the only instance that it is producing so the only instance of the object emoji so this is good this is basically the logic behind it quite easy to understand and therefore first of all we need the id of the instance we want to spawn because later on we need to destroy it and for now we just set it to no one but you can i don't know do something like this doesn't really matter and um, you can oh, Nope, something like this, but we want to set it to no one and this is good enough. And here we have a cooldown timer and the cooldown timer has like half a second, 30 frames. And so then we are all absolutely finished with the create event. So the timer and the ID and in the step event we do some cooldown so basically we just take our cooldown timer and let it run down so minus minus and once the cooldown timer is smaller than zero we reset everything what do we reset basically the cooldown 
timer so it jumps up to 30 again because your cooldown timer to cooldown time 30 and we destroy an instance if it's there and this is the important part so we just go uh, instance destroy and here we don't destroy for example if you would do it like this it will destroy the npc but that's not what we want you want to destroy a specific instance which is this one but here we come into a little conflict because every time for now every time it will run down the timer would reset but we would want to destroy an instance that is not there that is not what we want so therefore we do a little extra here an extra condition and we just saying so is the timer running down is it below than zero and is our index or the idea which we are storing not no one so this is important and then we destroy that thing and here because we destroyed the only instance of the emoji box which we are doing then we reset again this thing here so it pretty much is solid in here so this is basically just the cooldown and it is destroying the only instance which is spawning so we are safe on that part and here once we have a collision we do a few things which are kind of similar here so first of all we well, kind of block the cooldown timer so basically it will always stick at 30 it cannot run down because once the player or the instance you want to collide it with is colliding and then it's pretty much blocking this whole thing here so there this code ne will never happen if the player is around and here we do another thing so it's kind of similar so if we don't have any id really stored then we create our what well, emoji box so we go for instance create layer and we go for x because we want to put it on above and on the x position of the npc so this will always work for those um well for for all sprites so basically all the other npcs have the same code and then we do something because we don't want it for now we would be spawning that thing on this point but we want to do it above so that's why we take the sprite height and therefore this code is generic and can be used but for all the other sprites as well so minus sp sprite height bam so we have our position then we need our instances to create on so the layer instances no 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 and then what do we want to create well our emoji box in here we do create a variable and call it i don't know emoji box completely spelled it wrong doesn't really matter and store the instance which we are creating in this temporal variable and what do we use this variable for well we can get its id and store it into this id which we always have on no one so here we are storing the id of the newly freshly created uh, emoji box which we are spawning above so bam we have it here now this part even though maybe we have a collision with the player it's not no one it is it has a specific id so this code is not gonna get run again and of course we want to do a little bit of well changing because we want to change the image index of the static sprite which we're using so therefore we just jump in here back and set it to i don't know zero was money the one was hard so let's go for one and we start the game and everything should work in unison hopefully at last let's see don't throw any arrows please yep looks good sweet so what you are seeing here 
the module is being spawned, then it's been replaced with the other one, which we set up, and once, for example, there's no collision, half a second, bam, the instance is getting destroyed, and you can do that well for all the time. And now you can see those two girls are happy to see you, but the most happy one is the treasure chest. So have a good one, one up indeed.